Hi, I'm Teacher Thomas. Welcome to math class. Today's topic is circular measure. We're going to work through a problem solving example. Before we do, let's look at two important formulae relating to circular measure. First is arc length. Arc length referenced by S. S equals radius times angle. Typically we use the variable theta as we're using here for angle. Area of sector represented by A equals one-half times radius squared times angle. These are the formulae that we'll use in solving this problem. We read AOB is a sector of a circle with radius 8 centimeters. The length of minor arc AB is 10 centimeters. Find A, angle AOB in radians, B, the area of the sector AOB. Let's create a diagram to begin. I'll set up my circle. I'm given a radius of 8 centimeters. Here I'll mark as 8 cm. Length of minor arc AB is 10 centimeters. So from the point A to the point B, we have a length, this is the minor arc. If I went the other way around, if I went around the bottom, that would be the major arc. Here, minor arc AB has a length of 10 centimeters, and that's formed from the center. So we'll have another radius here, which is 8 centimeters. So first, the angle measure, angle AOB. And I'll use the variable theta. We'll start with the arc length formula, S equals radius times theta for A. I'll start with the general form, S equals radius times theta, and fill in what we know. We know the length is 10, we know the radius is 8, and we're solving for theta. We divide both sides by 8, and theta is 10 over 8, or 1.25, and this is radians. Based on the formulae we have at the top of the whiteboard, our result will be in radian measure. We can manipulate these formulae to produce a result in degree measure, but we want to be working in radians. Part B, the area of the sector AOB. Here again I'll write down the general form of the formula. Area equals one-half times radius squared times theta. Typically in an IGCSE question, you would only be asked B, and you would need to figure out that you need to do A in order to solve B. We see in B that we need area, radius, and theta. Before having completed A, we didn't know the value of theta, so we would have to think or we'd have to realize we need to do the arc length calculation and then go on to part B. In this case they've given us two parts so it's a bit clearer that we need to do A then B. So now let's fill in. We're solving for area. Area equals one-half times radius squared. We know the radius is 8. One-half times 8 squared and we know the value of theta. We've just solved for 1.25 which simplifies to 40. Our units of measure is centimeters. Area is two-dimensional squared. This completes our requirements and this completes the lesson on circular measure problem solving.